Sandra with Fab Finds here at Sir Thomas, second time around in St. Augustine, Florida, and I am on a quest. I want a floor vase with some flowers in it. Well, look what I found. I'm in the lamp section. Oh my gosh. Some of these lamps, look at this one back behind there, Ed. That black and white one. Would that not make a cool floor vase? Okay, and we'll just go down here and keep looking. That's big enough. This would be cool. This one we could paint. Oh, that's her, that's her kids' room. Oh, that'd be a cute little tabletop vase. With kids stuff coming out of it. How awesome! Okay. Look at what's up here. Those are big enough. The bigger the better. But actually, like I said, the little ones would be cute for tabletops. And I've got April looking for flowers. Here it is. Here it is. I like this one. I'm gonna get this one. I think it's what, $15? Most of them are. They're between five to $15. We take this out, we're gonna go home and try it. Oh, here comes April. Look, I found the flowers. Ah, okay. You can wash them up, take them apart. Turn around and show us what we found. See? All right, we're gonna wash these up, clean them up, and see what we can come up with. I don't know how it's gonna look, but let's have some fun, okay? So we're gonna go home and check this out. And thrifters keep on thrifting. Go to fabulousfindsad.com, thriftershallenge.com, and go to Sir Toma's website. You can read about them on our websites, or go to their website and read about them. This is the one I've always called the Digger's Paradise. I just love it. If you have the time and the energy to go through they have got great stuff, and it's all hidden treasures here at Sir Tom and St. Augustine Thrifters. Keep on thrifting. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, little Sir Tom dog. Okay, here I am in the garage with my lamp. But it's so easy to take the guts out of a lamp. You just go to the bottom of it, okay? And this is, here's the guts, all right? And on the bottom is a screw. You unscrew that screw, slide it all out. This can be reused later, except you have to cut off the cord on the bottom, okay? But there is a plug that you can just snap on or put a new cord through it. Okay, very, very easy to do. And now I'm going to take these flowers, pull them apart, and go in and wash them. They definitely need to be washed. I wanna show you real quick on how to get these off of here. One thing you can do to see what's underneath is you can take a razor knife and score down because these are all the wires. So if you want to keep it longer, you got to get all of this off of there. Okay, see? That's where they're all kept. So if you want to keep them long, you do it that way. Now because the opening is so small, I'll probably strip this off of the wire and just leave it a wire. Now if ever you want to break a wire, let me show you on one of these, or break a flower off, the easiest way to do that, if you don't want to go through, like this one's rubber, so you probably wouldn't, but if you score and cut through the rubber and you bend where you scored, it snaps right off. That's how you break a wire. Okay, I'm using a mild dish soap and water in the sink to wash the flowers. One thing nice about fake flowers is that you can wash them just mild dish soap and water. Oh my gosh, look how dirty that water is. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, but they'll come out pretty nice and because they are wire, you can reshape them anyway. So this is awesome. See, they're coming out pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna wash down the lamp. <clears throat> See what we got? I already sprayed it down with some like Windex and OxyClean and I'm going to take the hose to it. I have a little nail brush to get in there and all these crevices. Actually it's coming out really nice. And this is cake in there. See these ones I just started them but look.
Okay, well, this is the finished product. The flowers I washed. You watched me wash them. And the vase. I did have to touch up the paint, as I told you. And I kind of dabbed the same color paints on the base bottom that I'd taken off and put back on. So, well, my lamp. Okay, this is the finished product. We repurposed an old lamp into a beautiful vase. So, thrifters keep on thrifting. Go to fabulousfindsad.com, check us out. And also, we are now Thrift Life. So go to thrift.life and get your Thrift Life stickers. Join Thrifty Living. All right, guys, keep on thrifting. I'll talk to you later. Sandra with Fab Finds here. Thrifters, come and join us for the Thrifters Challenge. Who is the best thrift store shopper? Is it you? Join us for our next Thrifters Challenge. Go to fabulousfindsad.com. Go to thrifterschallenge.com and check out the location and the time and the date.